What's going on YouTube? I know it's been a minute. Hadn't posted any four content, hadn't been riding. Um, actually did get out to ride a little bit with the family, um, but it was something I didn't record. Got my son a four wheeler for his birthday. Um, so we did get out to ride a little bit, but this video is completely different. No ATV content, this video. This video, I'm going to be restoring a 16 foot trailer. Um, my dad used this trailer for hauling hay when he had his farm. He is no longer in that business now, so he was nice enough to give me the trailer. It needs a lot of work, but um, take you guys along for the ride. Uh, some things I went ahead and bought that I know it needed. It needed an A-frame jack. Went ahead and got the hardware for that. Got me a can of this uh, tractor, tractor paint, low, low black, rush reform, and I'll go through all this stuff and tell you what I'm using it for. Just got some cheap brushes, cheap rollers, and some spray grips, and uh, some wire brushes for my drill. So let's go take a look at the trailer, tell you what I'm gonna do to it today. All right, guys, um, I actually got a lot more done than I expected to do. I got pretty much the whole trailer uh, sanded, um, used a wire brush, mostly used the sander as you see in the, as you will see in the time lapse or have already seen in the time lapse. Uh, that part was pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, just took a little elbow grease, but now I got the trailer prepped to where I want it. So now I'm gonna use the rust reform um, not very familiar, familiar with this stuff. Uh, I watched a few videos on YouTube of people painting utility trailers and they use this or some form of rust reform pretty much from what I know. Um, it helps convert rusty items into a paintable surface that will take paint. So I'm, uh, I got two cans down here with me now. I got six cans total. I'm not putting it very heavy because I have that tractor paint and I'm planning on um, using uh, multiple coats of that tractor paint. So I just want to get a good bond using this stuff. I say shake it for a minute, so sorry if I'm being annoying, but um, I just want to get a good bond with my actual paint. So, but you know, util utility trailers, they uh, chip, you know, every so often anyway. So I'm not looking for, I'm just looking for something that's not an eyesore. So, We'll get to this and catch you guys back up in a little bit. All right, guys, back out here later, uh, same afternoon. Want to go ahead and get started on some of my pain. Um, good day. Weather's supposed to be good today and tomorrow. So, I want to go ahead and get started. Show you what I'm working with here. Um, and this, this is what I'm using. You do not have to use this. Um, I'm not thinning this stuff. Um, I'm just applying it straight on. Right now, I'm just do the tongue and see how far I can work back before um, the sun sets. Uh, and that's it, I'm just using a brush. Just stir it up real good. Regular old paint brush. Get you straight in. Start right up here on my tongue. Apply it.
All right, guys, so today we are installing our <clears throat> A-frame jack. I have this A-frame jack from Tractor Supply. It's starting to rain. As soon as I come out here to do something, it's starting to rain. Anyways, I should be able to get this in real quick. Bought some hardware, two washers, a lock washer, nut and bolt. I think these are five eighths uh, nuts bolts. Not quite sure, but... You guys know what hardware you need. Took that out, drilled these holes out a little bit, and um, just so they would fit. These holes are slightly smaller than the original hardware. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. I'm gonna throw it on the time lapse. Um, yeah. All right, guys, so you can see um, got the trailer out here in the front yard. Just got the tires back on, um, back on. had to get those fixed. So today we're going to be throwing this um, LED kit from Harbor Freight. I'm sorry, yeah, LED trailer light kit from Harbor Freight. Um, we're going to get it started. We're going to get them, we're going to get started, and then I'll probably do a time lapse. So let's get to it. So I'm going to go ahead and open the package up, see what comes inside, so you, know you can see what's inside. Let's hope I have enough uh, wire and just help one of my buddies put a trailer kit on his. Alright guys, I'm back. Had to run to the hardware st store really quick to pick up some extra wire. This is a 14 gauge, 17 foot. I think this is 30 something foot, 18 gauge, which really doesn't matter. This is just what they had in stock. Um, also bought some flex tube split uh, split loom, um, what they call it, just so when I get ready to button all this up, I have a nice clean loom over that. And I'll probably run it all the way back to about um here so yep so let's go to the back show you where i stopped off at and i figured it would be short because my wire um leads come down the left side of the trailer and then comes to the back right here and then it runs across so i figured it would be a little short my my wire for this side my um left hand side yellow and brown is fine it's just my green and green and uh brown so stops about right there so technically i only need about four feet but after a heavy rain i'm gonna put a tarp down and park the trailer on the tarp so this uh few hour paint job don't go to waste in a year or so so but yeah this is it, it needs to be cleaned up but i mean it's a trailer so it's gonna serve its purpose all right i'll get back with you in a second once i get side up All right, guys, so I'm over to this side just to catch you up. I did have to add wire. That's why these wires are a different color brand like you want it. So it tells you top side up. Go ahead and stick this thing through. My trailer has, sorry, put your ground. I like to put mine on the furthest one just so it keeps that wire nice and long. But 
not an electrician so if you see all right guys so i'm just kind of putting the finishing touches on it i tested them briefly i just hit the uh lock button on the key ring and everything came on so they for well, they flash so which is what it feels like feel like this uh, so I'm just using my split loom right now to kind of just clean everything up. And I'm going to put some zip ties on that. I had that horse in my ground. I had my ground ran to the back side of my uh, A-frame jack. So just make it look nice and clean. Uh, so I'm going to put some zip ties on that. And then I'm going to put some zip ties on that. And then I'm going to put some zip ties on that. And then I'm going to put some zip ties on that. And then I'm going to put some zip ties on that. All right, let's go check everything. All right, turn signal down. Okay, now turn it up. All right, now press the brake. Good job.